Hey, what's up, you guys? Oh, man, I got a problem. Um, I think I have a problem, and so I'm going to make a video because this is actually a common problem in dispatch. What do you do when you're not booked for tomorrow? Um, this, this is a tight situation. I think people are starting to get stressed out. I'm getting stressed out, um, but I've been here before. So I'm going to try not to stress out, but frankly, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit stressed out. So that's kind of no good. Um, the driver's feeling pressure. He's wondering, where's my cars? What am I picking up tomorrow? And he's a three-car wedge. He's in Denver, and he's going to be empty tomorrow morning. And I've only got one out of three booked. I have two totally empty spots and I've got one going to Ohio. So Denver to Ohio, that's a long ways. Of course, we're not going to go with just one. But what do you do when you can't get anything booked? Now, why can't you get anything booked? What, is there nothing on the board available? Well, there is, but Denver's one of those cities that it just doesn't pay well to get out of for some reason. Um, of course, somebody's going to disagree, and whoever disagrees, go ahead and put it down in the comments. If you agree... Please put that in the comments because I find Denver tough to get out of. Okay. All right, I got my coffee and central dispatch. Okay, so yeah, I'm kind of freaking out. All right, um, we don't have anything booked. Well, we got one out of three booked. And we're talking Denver, so that's not good. So let's do, uh, all right, let's go Colorado, Kansas. All right, let's look at the map here. Let's go back to the map. Okay, so Denver to, what I do know is I want to try and get back to Cleveland. I've got one booked to Cleveland. I've got a van booked to Cleveland, all right? I need to fill two spots, <clears throat> but we're talking Denver, so... I shouldn't be freaking out, but I need these. I need loads for tomorrow to pick up tomorrow morning, and that's not good. So, and it's four o'clock Central Time. That's not good. Um, first, what I'm gonna do is, all right, let's focus on the route at hand. Let's do Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put Missouri in there. Um, Ohio, PA. What else am I forgetting here? So we got Ohio, PA. Let's do, I guess we'll do West Virginia. Man, I hope we don't swing down to West Virginia, but beggars can't be choosers. West Virginia. So we got Indiana, Indiana Illinois. I'm going to put Michigan in here just in case I find something good to swing up to Michigan. I got Kentucky. I really don't want to see Tennessee, but... I'm going to throw that in here, too, because I'm starting to uh, get nervous. All right. Um, one through three, open, 40 cents a mile minimum, ready in the next two to three days. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, so I try to, you know, I say, you know, things work out. I don't know how they do, but obviously I'm getting a little freaked out. So... Oh, man, this Nashville car keeps going up. I do not want to go to Nashville. And then there's this Wichita, Nashville. Dude, Wichita is way out of the way. How am I going to put Wichita in a Denver run? I don't know. Um, see this Denver, Indianapolis, 45 cents a mile. The problem is, and that's not ready for a couple days, so that isn't going to work either, but the problem is, is that 45 cents a mile is, like, pretty decent coming out of Denver. So, now, we, we're not in Colorado Springs anymore, so I can't really consider Colorado Springs. Um, which is a bummer, because there's these United Road cars... But I don't want to go south to go north. I don't want to do that unless I have to. Um, Denver to Canton. Okay, so I've been waiting for them to add more money to this load. But they're not adding it. And I, I don't want to call them and wake it up. 
You know, I say, wake it up. I call and ask for more money. They say no, and then they raise it a little bit, but not how much I need to book it. Um, okay, see, these guys raised theirs. See, if I book Kansas City to Cleveland, then I need, I gotta get a Denver, Kansas City load. And, I'm sweating here, man. And um, I saw one Denver, Kansas City load, but I didn't, let's see here, I'm going to duplicate my window, but I didn't like that it talks about it has a, tra a there's a transmission issue. I'll tell you what, here, let's do this. Okay, let's go ahead and try to book, because they just raised the money on this. I've been watching this one. So I didn't. So I waited for the load to wake up. This is one that I've been watching, um, and I will have to figure out Denver to Kansas City. But Kansas City to Cleveland, this is in the zone. It's new. So and look at this, Denver to Kansas City BMW X5 just showed up. Okay, so that would work. Hey, call on about a load on Central Dispatch. Are you at the pickup side or delivery side? Is this like a dealer, dealer to dealer? Oh, you're the broker. I got gotcha. you. Let's see. Driver's in Denver now. He'll be in Denver tomorrow. I would say a pickup Wednesday. Give it two to three days. Three days max. But the driver is asking me. So you have this posted at 525. Before Saturday. Before Friday? Oh, no. <laughs> right we have the we have this problem where i just want to book it you want to book it but they've got some kind of time expectation how, how do you think that happens is it when they bought the vehicle they were promised a date could be um, very well could be i've had i've, I've had dealerships say hey we're going to book it in two weeks and then they're like well yeah i mean three days from the date that I book is that I get a driver, but I don't have a driver. It's not like I got like someone just sitting and waiting in for me to call them and say, yeah, I'll get right there. You know, <laughs> that's not the way it works, unfortunately. <laughs> no, and I was telling, it's funny, because I was telling the driver how um, that that seems to happen a lot is where he gets nervous because he's not booked up. And it seems like a lot of uh, a lot of customers expect a driver just kind of to be driving around empty. Yep. Right. <laughs> right now, I can book a connection from Denver to Kansas City, so I know I have a spot from Kansas City to Ohio. And here's some further information: the driver is from Ohio, so it's not like he's not going there. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? If he leaves Denver tomorrow, and that puts him in Kansas City next day, which is Wednesday, Kansas City to Cleveland is 800 plus miles, and assuming that we can just, you know, drive on a rope to Ohio, then he should be there Friday. He, his wife wants him home this weekend. So... His wife and the customer want the same thing. <laughs> Does that help at all? Um, I'll send her a text. I'm letting her, I just sent her a text to let her know that I have a different driver that's available to her. Alright, so. Okay, so we really tried hard to get that. And, and that's sometimes what it takes, is to really get to know... The broker, the customer, you know, this is like a, it's like a family, uh, it's like a family event. Alright, so, I didn't have to wake that up, it woke itself up, so, but there's another load. I don't want to wake it up, but I'm going to wait to see what happens with her. The other load is, see here's this Denver to Kansas City, but it says it has a tranny, tranny issue. Oh, man. Okay. 
Here's the other one. Now there's this Ford Edge Colorado Springs to Cleveland, which I don't I don't want to do because Colorado Springs is south of us. Um, but there's all and there's this other one, Colorado Springs. That's a Copar car, but we already left Colorado Springs. But this Denver to Canton Chevy Cruze, it's too cheap, and it's at a dealership. That car should pay more. But they're probably not in a hurry. And I don't want to call and ask for more money. They're clearly not in a hurry. It's been sitting there. It got posted last week. So it should go up soon. But it's not going up yet. So I'm kind of waiting. Here's another one. Denver to Pittsburgh. Mix mix. But I know that it's a truck because I already looked up the mix mix. Because I need to know what mix mix is. I can't book a mix mix. Because we don't move mix mixes often. But it doesn't pay enough. I need that to be 500. I'm just gonna call them because it's my last spot. Let's see if I can work it out. Are you with me? Okay, let's do this thing. Where's it at? Refresh, call, refresh, call, refresh. <laughs> it's great. It's a post and run. I hate a post and run. Stinking post and run? It just got posted. I hate that. Hey, I was just calling about a load posted on Central Dispatch for transport. Okay, I would imagine our transport drivers are blocked for the evening. Well, it's actually, you know what? It's it's well, it would have been posted by probably your like used car sales department, maybe. Hey Jason, my name is Jay. I'm a dispatcher. I'm calling about a load posted on Central Dispatch for Transport, Missouri, Ohio, Jeep Patriot. To send this message and exit, press 1. To review your message, sent. Thank you for... And remember, even though I really do want to get this car, I want another hundred bucks so I can't be too excited. I'm not excited! Alright, now I'm going to call the driver. Yeah. Okay, so, um, I mean, I'm looking a little better than I did a couple hours ago. Good. Yeah. Looking a lot more, a lot better. So, do we have a car? <laughs> Isn't the tension wonderful? Oh, my. So, <laughs> so here's what we got. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, uh, we have the van... And I have a picture of the van, which is cool. We have the van from Aurora to Cleveland. Okay. We already had that as a Friday. Okay. Um, Oklahoma fell through. I didn't want to veer. I didn't want to go down to Nashville. So what I did was I found a car from Kansas City to Willoughby Hills. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay. The last one I'm trying to get is a Jeep Patriot. Uh, Kansas City to Canton. Okay, that's good. Exactly. You, you got that covered. You got to get me to Kansas City now. So I got two from... Awesome, man. Awesome. Okay, so we did it. Thank goodness. That was a close one, right? But... Uh, you know, if you stay focused, you open windows, stay at your desk, work hard, make phone calls, 
talk to the brokers, talk to the driver. You can actually make it happen. Get to the end of your dispatch day so that you can start looking for cars the next day, look at your next leg, work with your other drivers, and actually get through all this. So I hope this video has helped you. I also hope you'll join me on Tuesday nights live. I'm Jay, the car hauling dispatcher. You're watching Auto Transport Intel. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.